Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to NXT The Game Season 3, Episode 20. We are just a few days removed from NXT The Game Presents NXT TakeOver SoCal. We have some matches, we have some cool angles tonight, so let's get straight into the action. Alright, in a pre-show match and about that featured great action, but not in the much way of heat. Tessa Blanchard defeats Paige in 7 minutes and 38 seconds via pinfall. Paige's loan period has ended. Now, to open the show, welcome to NXT. We are just days removed from NXT TakeOver SoCal, where not only did Sami Zayn defend the NXT Heavyweight Championship successfully against Big Papa Pump, Big Bad Booty Daddy, Frigzilla, Scott Steiner, but Shinsuke Nakamura made his triumphant return to NXT. Corey Graves, you're certainly right, Renee. What a special takeover it was. Shinsuke Nakamura coming back to NXT, our undertaker as figure, and laying down the law, newly, surely, but being the gatekeeper here in NXT. We've got one heck of a show for you tonight, including a triple threat tag team match with tag team standing implications. Because if you missed it, American Alpha lost the tag team championships in an impromptu match. We'll touch on that later tonight, but first, as well as Nakamura, excuse me, but first, all to, uh, we'll touch on that Nakamura, American Alpha, all tonight. So, whoops, sorry guys, let's, let's move on. That was a mistake by mine. But coming up first, we are going to see the Hype Bros, Mojo, Rally, and Zack Ryder take on Blake and Murphy of the Murphy Blood BAMF Factor, take on the VOD villains, and that's coming up next. In a match that has some good action, but not in the much may have heat, the Hype Bros defeat Blake and Murphy and the VOD villains in 10 minutes when the VOD villains were eliminated following by Blake and Murphy. So the Hype Bros move up the tag team rankings here in NXT with a big victory over the Blake and Murphy Factor and the VOD villains. All right, after the match, we see Mojo Rally and Zack Ryder celebrating a good, far, hard-fought victory as the VOD villains and Blake and Murphy with Alexa Blizzard arguing amongst one another. They start to exit up the ramp. A big victory tonight for the Hype Bros. Quiet on the set. Can we please have quiet on the set? Awesome! I came to play. So here's the Miz now coming up, Um, you know, as the tag teams are leaving, coming up. Don't act like you don't know what I'm... Excuse me, the Miz enter, uh, walks down and enters the ring. I forgot to scroll down. Don't act like you don't know that the man... Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, folks. Don't act like you all don't know that I'm the man for the job. I am a former WWE champion. I beat John Cena at WrestleMania, damn it. The Miz alluding to wanting to be the number one contender here in NXT. If anyone here in NXT should get a shot at that red-bearded freak Sami Zayn, it's me. I've done what's been asked of me. Beat those who've been put in front of me. And The Miz didn't come to NXT just to mess around. The Miz came to NXT to make money, get increasingly famous, and become the first ever a plus plus lister and become the next NXT heavyweight champion. The fans are booing the Miz as he walks around taunting the fans. I'll do you fans a solid. If any one of you wrestlers in the back think you have more of a claim, more of a stake to the claim of the NXT heavyweight championship than me, the Miz, well, the former NXT champion, the Miz, who beat John Cena at WrestleMania, then please get your butts out here and step on up. The Miz waits for a moment. Nobody replies. Exact. The Miz is cut off with pyros and fireworks. The fans cheer as Neville shows up on the ramp holding his NXT Money in the Bank briefcase. The fans start to chant Neville's name. Sorry, Miz, I was in the back, so it took me a while, but I think right here that this briefcase proves who the real number one contender is, says Neville. You've held one of these before in WWE, right, Miz? You're familiar with what's inside of this. A shot whenever I want it at the NXT Heavyweight Championship. Neville, you short little boy, says the Miz. You may hold a briefcase, that's well and good, but you're looking at a champion in the ring. The Miz is cut off for a second time. Within a minute, the Miz is cut off, and Neville looks to the right as NXT Commissioner William Regal walks out. To the fans, <coughs> excuse me, to the point as usual, boys, Neville backs off as the Miz leans against the rope. Neville, you're the money in the bank briefcase holder. You've earned your shot. Neville nods, but the Miz has a point. The fans boo. He's done what's been asked of him here in NXT, and he wasn't brought in NXT simply to be a trophy, a stolen piece from WWE. He was brought into NXT to fight. Oh, look at this. 95 rating for uh, William Regal. Fan favorite gimmick. Neville looks confused as a fan's boo. I'm not saying that The Miz is the number one contender, but I am saying that the NXT Universe wants to see a match the fans cheer. Do you all want to see The Miz take on Neville? The fans cheers. Neville looks around, nods, and The Miz is walking around the ring throwing his usual hissy fit. Then in two weeks here on NXT, we are going to see Neville take on The Miz with NXT Heavyweight Championship contendership implications. Boys, have a nice day. William Regal drops the mic and Neville shakes his hands with his camera focusing on that. Then The Miz is going crazy to end the segment. So we're going to get a match between Neville and The Miz just a few weeks away at NXT. 
we see Bailey, Becky, and Candice LeRae in the back shaking hands with newcomer Aliyah, excuse me, Aaliyah in the back who will be having her NXT debut match up next against Manifest Destiny's Carmella. Ooh, a 96 for the girl next door rating. That's fantastic. All right, now we fade backstage and see Enzo Mori and Sami Zayn backstage talking. Enzo also shaking the hand of Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn tapping Enzo Mori on the back, both of which have just watched the segment with Neville and The Miz. From Sami's point of view, he's interested to see whom he may be facing, and Enzo, having just lost to The Miz, knows that could have been him. In a match that had some good action, but not on the much of my feet. Aaliyah defeats Carmella in 7 minutes and 39 seconds with the star, uh, with the star scream. Aaliyah with the victory here over Carmella in her debut match. So this was just to get Alea out there and to get her uh, booked. We focus back now on a video package on NXT TakeOver SoCal and see the arrival of Carl Anderson, who along with Luke Gallows turned on Finn Balor and the Young Bucks taking them out, breaking up the Balor Club. We then, you can see got new pictures there, guys, too. Brand new pictures. Don't they look nice? We then see William Regal honoring American Alpha on a 10 straight title defenses at NXT TakeOver SoCal in the ring, and noting that in a few hours, not only will they have held the championships and 10 to consecutive title defenses, but they will have held the championships for a full year. 364 days is the current count. We then focus on Anderson and Gallows showing up, baiting American Alpha into defending their NXT Tag Team Championships just hours after Anderson debuts, actually, the same show, and Anderson and Gallows ending a the, the, uh, ending the four-hour short reign of a year-long title Run for American Alpha. Jason Jordan and Chad Gable becoming the new NXT Tag Team Champions out of nowhere. Anderson and Gallows will be here next week on NXT. We now see clips from Hideo Tommy's Hill turn and his victory over Apollo Crews at NXT TakeOver SoCal. He faces Sami Zayn in the main event coming up next. A reminder that in two weeks per Commissioner Regal, it's going to be the Neville taking on The Miz. All right, and in the main event, in a match that featured great action and average heat, Sami Zayn defeats Hideo Itami in 20 minutes with a fast roll-up out of nowhere. Sami Zayn gets a hard-fought victory over the pushing Hideo Itami. After the match, though, Hideo Itami is laying in the ring. Can't believe he just lost to Sami Zayn, but before he can sneak attack him like he did to Paul Cruz, Sami has happened to have rolled out of the ring and is celebrating up the ramp. The lights flicker off and on, off and on, off and on, and Shinsuke Nakamura is seen at the top of the ramp, just staring at Hideo Itami, daring him to do what he did at NXT TakeOver SoCal. Itami begins to scream at Nakamura in Japanese as Mark Nakamura just smirks and does his classic charismatic poses as NXT phase for the week with Nakamura letting everyone know he's here in NXT and Hideo Itami, you're in check. I'm nervous. 72, all right. No specific comments, that's all right. This was NXT The Game, Season 3, Episode 20. Thank you guys for watching. We will have another show in, uh, in a couple days. Thanks for watching, everyone.